The Royal Guard finally shows its face in this week's Bleach Chapter 516, The Squad Zero. So we begin with Ichigo talking to Mayuri about his broken tents of Zangetsu. He says that the owner must pour the Ryatsu into the Zanbakuto to repair it, but that only applies when it's in Shikai form. Once it's in Bankai and it's broken, it can never return to its former state. He goes on to say that Kamamura's is the only exception, and even Ikaku's and Renji's Bankai are still damaged from previous fights. And just when Ichigo tries to figure out what he should do for Tensa, he's hit by a large, freakish-looking cone. Yay. Anyways, Mayuri gets a call and says that the Zero Squad has arrived. Ichigo meets with all the captains at the wall outside Soul Society, and Shunsui explains about how the wall is protecting something while it's not being used for emergencies at Soul Society, clearly meaning that it's usually used for the Royal Guard. A pillar falls from the sky, indicating that the members of Squad Zero have arrived. As they emerge, Shunsui tells Ichigo that these five members are stronger than the entire Gotai 13 combined. Okay, better chapter than last week, nothing really pissed me off, we got some cool info on Bankais and how they sort of work, and of course we got the reveal of Squad Zero's five members, who are apparently stronger than every captain in Soul Society, so I guess that even includes the late Yamamoto. The only problem I have right now is their designs. Really? Squad Zero has been built up for a while now, we expected some of these badass looking characters, and we get some fat lady, two goofy looking dudes, a grizzly bear, and there's like one chick who seems kind of cool. But looks can be deceiving, so I'll give them all a chance. We learned a bit about how Bankais can't repair themselves. I don't really get that. I mean, if it can repair itself in its weaker Shikai form, why can't it do the same in Bankai? I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that Ichigo is going to get Tensa Zangetsu somewhat repaired, but they're indicating that it's not going to be as strong. I have a feeling Ichigo will have to tap into his hollow powers again, along with Old Man Zangetsu, or even Tensa Zangetsu to get his Bankai back into fighting form. I'm also getting a feeling, though, that this Bankai information will come into play later with the Quincy's in their fight, because if they can break whatever Bankai they've stolen, it can definitely weaken them by a lot. And the last big thing that everyone seems to be talking about... Cone. Seriously? Fuck Cone. I really don't get the happiness people are getting from seeing him in this chapter. Sure, he's been missing for like over 250 chapters, but what was there to miss? I don't find him funny, and his return literally wasted about three pages in this chapter that fell way too short. I don't know, I feel like I'm in the minority with this. I don't hate him, I just don't care whether or not he ever comes back, because he doesn't add to the plot. Anyways, for my questions of the week, what do you think of the Squad Zero members? Cool? Meh? Or horrible looking. And what do you think is the fate of Ichigo's tenses on Getsu? Is it due for another power up now that it's broken? Overall, despite Cone's unnecessary return, this was a good chapter with its reveal of Squad Zero and interesting new information on an owner's Bankai. That's it for this week. Remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter in the comments below, like and subscribe for more Bleach chapter reviews, and I'll be back next week for 517. Peace.